Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, and I welcome back myself, as I've taken a very long break. This is a video you guys have probably been looking for for a while, just a video of how this whole pump works. I'm going to explain how the valves work, how I made it, and kind of like the design process, more than I did in my first video. And with this clear see-through wall right here, I'm going to show you and demonstrate how it works with better detail now that you can see inside. I hope you enjoy. Now in case you haven't seen my first video explaining how this pump works, let me give you a brief rundown. Right here is a handle. When you, when you raise the handle through a series of linkage arms, it lowers this center section. There is water in here from the beginning, first pump. So when you lower it down, this valve opens and allows the water trapped in the middle to enter this upper section. When you raise it, not only does it raise the water in the middle section, in this top section, from the middle to the top, it raises it out and out the spout. It also creates a vacuum where there is no water, and this valve at the bottom opens and draws water up from the bottom. Then, doing it again, lowering it, does, repeats this process. With the first video that I made of this pump being of low quality and this wall being solid, I hope to make a greater demonstration of how it works through this clear wall and some dismantling so you can see the internals. I'm gonna cut to what it looks like on the inside. The first valve is comprised of a flat bed of plates, a pole, and this valve. This valve is a two by four tile, the color is arbitrary, that is weighted with this one by two plate and is held in place with a, one, with a pair of one by two bricks with holes and an axle. The valve makes contact with this one by two tile and through the power of gravity will fall on its own. This one by four tile is here to make sure that the valve can open, but will not open so much as it will stay like this and be useless. The second valve is made in the exact same way. With the two by four tile, and the 2x2 hole, which can rotate. What changes is that it can move up and down. It's connected to this lift arm and can move both up and down as connected to this bigger lift arm. Finally, of the three, is the housing. It is comprised of mostly 1x bricks, 1x4s, 1x6s, 1x2s, and this valve, which is a pair of slope bricks going into each other. As you can see, this large clear section is comprised of two one by six by sixes clear tiles. The bevel is facing inwards so that they are completely flush. And there, sadly, had to be some tape involved as they do not interlock very well. So a small bit of tape was applied along the corners and through this center section to minimize leaking. And now for the moment you've all been waiting for, a demo of how it actually works. Here is a tub of water, and this is the pump. So as I'm moving it downward, you can actually see the valves open. And the water level slowly gets higher, until eventually, it comes out the top. So down at the bottom, you can see the pink valve moving up and down as I It can move a lot of water. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this and that this uh, gives a better understanding of how the pump works. Um, if you really liked it, hit the subscribe button and uh, goodbye!